Here now, Dr. Ben Carson is with us. Your initial reaction first as a medical doctor to these reports we, we've been reporting on, and we have our investigative report from the border tonight, the perilous journey of these unaccompanied minors, the violence that often takes place, the rape that has taken place. Now it's taken place as Governor Abbott has described. They've tried to keep his child protective services from seeing these kids. Now that they're seeing them, now they're reporting these atrocities are happening. Your reaction as a medical doctor, sir? Well, having spent almost my entire professional career dealing with children and the issues of children, obviously it breaks my heart to see these children being treated this way. And I don't know that anybody really cares that much. You know, they're being used as pawns like so many of us are being used in this effort to divide this country. You know, I, I think it's going at a very macro level. You have to remember about 60 years ago, Nikita Khrushchev said, your children's children will live under communism and we won't have to fire a shot. You know, what was he talking about? He was talking about the ability to gain control of our educational system so you can indoctrinate the kids, gain control of the media so that you could spoon feed the people only what you wanted them to hear, exclude the things you didn't want them to hear. He was talking about replacing God and confidence in God with government. He was talking about raising the debt to such incredible levels that you could justify massive taxation, redistribution of wealth, and complete control by the government. We need to wake up. We need to go back and read some of the stuff that was going on decades ago when people were predicting what was going to happen, and we need to thwart it. And the best way to thwart it is to recognize that this is the United States of America. Well, let me ask you And we you that. have to recognize those who are trying to divide us. We have states like Delaware, what New York, that, and Colorado that have far more restrictive voting laws than the new law in Georgia. But that didn't stop Joe Biden from now numerous times referring to it as Jim Crow 2.0. What is your reaction? Well, I wonder, that? Does, he, does, he know what, does he know what Jim Crow is? Uh, has he really know read what day the, of the stories week it is, about Doctor, the let's lives? Be <laughs> has he read about the lives of people who had to suffer under that system, not only of extreme segregation, but unfairness, incredible violence that was going on? This is nothing like that. And these laws in Georgia apply to everyone. They don't specifically apply to one group of people. And uh, I find it quite offensive for people to assume that black people cannot get a voter ID, cannot get any kind of official ID. I don't know any black people like that. I don't know where they're finding these people. But the fact of the matter is, you know, black people are just like anybody else. And well, tremendous well, progress doctor. has been made. And all of a sudden, they're becoming victims because the media and politicians find it to their advantage to create those chasms. Show never changed the laws in Delaware. Far more restrictive than Georgia. It's outrageous what he's done here. Dr. Carson, great to see you again. Thank you.